Hello people, how you doing? Just want to um, raise this kind of shit. And this is what I'm talking about with the, the whole mass hysteria that's been created behind this so-called virus. Um, right now there's hospitals in England, the Nightingale Hospital sitting empty. And the media has caused a mass hysteria, which in turn, the politicians have had to live up to the, the hysteria. And to get in beds, ventilators, and these ventilators, guys, I call bullshit on Trump's 10,000 ventilators. 10,000 ventilators that are meant to be as complex as a car, he says. He made them in 45 days or something. I'd like to see this factory where, where they were built in America. I, call, I think he called the politicians bluff, like the mayors and the governors who were crying out for these ventilators. He called their bluff. He said, oh, okay, we'll send you 5,000 or 500 or whatever. And then they went, oh, we don't need them anymore. We don't need them. They were, they were trying to make him look bad. But I don't think, it, I'm not sure if it's a whole reverse psychology thing. But they apparently sent away hundreds of thousands of these ventilators. So I just call bullshit and all that. And all the masks that they've apparently made, nah. I think they're just playing with us with this shit. And I think the, the main goal here is, and like I said before, is economic. It's to do with China. It's to take away China's mass production. They've been the top power, like everything, even from toys, from little toys that you buy, and the toy industry is a billion pound industry, and most toys are made in China, like the world's going to be a different place after this, this is, this is where China's hit its peak, and now it's, it's the only way to go down, the only way is down for China now, and I think America want to bring mass production back to their country, and all these unemployed Americans right now, what is it, three and a half million, five million? They'll not, they'll, they'll not be unemployed for long. Once the Apple factories open up in America, there'll be plenty of jobs for all these uh, unemployed Americans. And in Britain, there's a lot of cash in hand kind of, it's a sort of cash in hand society where there's a lot of floaters, as we call them, that hide under the radar a government's and police and stuff like that. These just people that can get under the system. Well, when some, something like this happens, these kind of people are flushed out. And this is what I think it is. I, I think it's all to do with money, economics, squeezing China out of the picture, and taking control of society and the money. Not getting richer, because these people have got money already. They want to make sure they know where the money's going. Like people in a, like a Scottish person, they might be getting cash in hand and getting job seekers allowance, just say. But all their money goes back into the economy because they probably buy food and buy beers and whatever. The money goes straight back in the economy. But with a lot of the foreigners, like the Romanians, they'll work here, cash in hand, and send the money back over to their, their home country to build a house or something like that. So I think it's a way to keep track of everything, keep track of all the, the finances and start again. I think there's going to be a big restart. I think there's going to be a giant recession, a big collapse. There's definitely bigger than 2008. Bigger than, like, 2008 isn't going to be nothing compared to what's coming. Because I've been off work for six weeks now, guys, and it's how the hell are the government going to pay for all these people being off work? I don't know. There's something going to give here. And I, I want to also uh, speak about these nurses, these dancing nurses and doctors. There's no way, this is organised people. There's no way this is spontaneous that all these nurses, and there's hundreds and hundreds of videos, and they're not all attention seekers. There must be somebody going around arranging this stuff. And I think it's maybe to build resentment towards the NHS for some kind of maybe a second wave. So the, the people get angry that there's now, they're, they're locked up for longer because the NHS were dancing around in hospitals instead of doing their job. I don't know what it is, but there's something really suspicious about this dancing nurses and doctors, and I think they're getting maybe set up for a big fall. Anyway, people, back to what I was going to show you. Um, this is why the public, the sheep, the sheeple, um, police themselves, because they're bombarded with this kind of nonsense from NSBC. And I'll let you have a little look. But you must get bombarded with, God, maybe a hundred images in 30 seconds. Um, very, very intrusive, very sneaky way to um, 
get a message over black and white photos, these kind of, like this kind of photo here. I mean, it's, it's so dramatic, black and white. Um, go back a bit. Well, look at this. How many pictures was there? That was about 10 images in a second. This is the kind of crap they're bombarding you, your brain with. And this is what everybody's watching and they're just spreading it amongst themselves. They're spreading the fear, the hysteria. This is just mass hysteria. And it's, and it's being used to, to control the economy and to control us, society. There's gonna be a big shake up. And I've said this since January. Here's the impactful. Oh, with the clapping. Oh, well, everybody, let's stand outside. Let's everyone be ants. Everyone be a, a colony of bees. This is who we are. Sheep. That's garbage. This is total social control and economic control on a mass scale. I've got to admit, it's better than war. Because I think they've used these kind of tactics to reshuffle society before. Uh, and war seems to be a big one. But they need people. They need people to build stuff to sell. They kind of kill all the people. Right, people. Anyway, like I said, been saying this since January. There's this is a big restructuring of society, finances, economics, and um, the way money is distributed. Not rich people get more richer. It's it's they want to keep an eye on where all the, the funds are going, and they're gonna they're gonna wipe that fucking American debt that's just ticking away, tick tick ticking away. Um, that's going to be wiped away. I wouldn't even be surprised, guys. And here's another theory I've got. That the second wave that looks predictable, looks inevitable, but is caused by money. They have evidence that this, this virus particularly likes money and living on money. So they'll take us into a contactless society. And like I was saying about the guys that get paid to cash in hand, there's going to be none of that. You're going to have to have a bank account. Everybody's going to have to have a bank account or some sort of credit account. Not even a bank account, some sort of credit account. So they can keep an eye on you. So Big Brother can watch you. Right guys, have a good night and I'll see you later.